Hello and welcome to my video on layer masks and adjustment layers. This is going to be a very comprehensive tutorial and will serve as an introduction and also hopefully provide some useful tips and techniques for those already familiar with layer masks. To begin, I'd like to discuss what a layer mask actually is and start with a simple analogy. Let's say you have a sheet of paper with some printed text. It could be a page from a book or just something you print on your computer. Now let's say you want to hide all the text on the page except for one particular paragraph. So you take another sheet of paper that's blank and lay it over the printed sheet. This blank sheet of paper is our mask since it hides or masks the printed sheet underneath. Then you cut a hole in the mask where the paragraph you want to reveal is located. Now someone looking at the paper will only see the one paragraph because the rest of the text is hidden by the mask. In much the same way we can use layer masks to hide or mask certain parts of a layer. Now this is a very simple description of a very powerful tool and you'll see as we go through this tutorial just how versatile and useful layer masks really are. For a long time I didn't use layer masks or even know what they were but now I can't imagine not using them. They're one of the most powerful tools in Photoshop and indispensable for post-processing. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay the first lesson is going to be fairly simple but I think it'll give you a good introduction to the basics of layer masking. And what I've got is three images. Each one is a shot of a picnic table with a cat on it. Now in each image, nothing changes except for the position of the cat. And there's a third one there. And you can see each one, the cat is in a different spot. So what I want to do is uh, combine these three images through the use of layer masking so that it gives the appearance of three cats sitting on this table. So we'll start, I've got image one here, and I'm going to use that as my base or background image. So let me go ahead and minimize it. I'm going to open up image two, and I'm going to go ahead and select the entire image. Go to edit, copy. Go ahead and minimize it. We'll open up uh, image one again. And edit, paste. And what that's doing is just pasting the copied image as a new layer in image one. Okay. Open up image three. Select all. Edit, copy. Okay, and we'll go ahead and edit paste once again. Okay, I'm hit the tab key, bring my toolbars back. Now we've got our three layers, each one with the picnic table with uh, the cat in a different position. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hide layer two for right now. And I'm going to start working on layer one. And what I want to do is create a layer mask on layer one. And the way to do that is to simply click the layer mask icon, which is a rectangle with a circle in the middle, down here at the bottom of the layers palette. So I'll click on it, and now I've got a layer mask thumbnail on layer one. And you can also see I've got a white border around the thumbnail, and that just tells me that the mask is active. If I click onto the layer thumbnail, now I've got the white border on it, and that tells me that the layer is active. And you'll notice, too, that my foreground and background colors are red and blue here. And if I click onto the layer mask, they uh, switch to black and white. That's because when we're working with layer masks, we're working in grayscale. The way that layer masks work is that any part of the mask that is white will reveal the layer, and any part of the mask that is black will hide the layer. Now by default, when you click on the layer mask icon, it creates a mask that is filled with white, and so the entire layer is revealed, and that's why it doesn't look like anything really happened. So what I want to do is go ahead and fill the layer mask with black, go to Edit Fill, choose black, which is already selected. And click OK, and now the entire layer mask is filled with black and it has hidden the entire layer. So, what I can do now is choose a white paintbrush and again make sure the, sure the mask is selected. Go ahead and paint white onto the mask where this cat is on the layer, which is somewhere right down here. So, I'm just going to start painting, and just like magic, the cat reappears. Okay. Now if we look at the layer mask thumbnail, you'll see a little bit of white where we painted where the cat was and the rest of it is black. So the part that's white is revealed, so the part of this layer that contained the cat is now revealed and the rest of the layer, which is uh, covered with black here on the layer mask, is hidden. Now no actual pixels were altered on the uh, layer itself. Uh, this is a very non-destructive technique in that and that we're not really changing anything on the layer, we're just hiding certain parts of it. So if we wanted to come back later and make changes, we, we can edit the mask and, and we're not affecting the layer. So let's go ahead and open up layer two now. And what I want to do is create another layer mask. However, 
I want to do a little bit differently. Because we're really only wanting to reveal a small portion of each layer, it'd be more efficient to create a layer mask that's already filled with black. So what I can do is hold down the Alt or Option key while I'm clicking on the layer mask icon and we get a layer mask that's already filled with black. And so it's already hiding the entire layer and I can come in with my white paintbrush and just start painting where the cat is on that layer. And there you go. Just like that. And zoom in a little bit here. So we've got the appearance of three separate cats on this picking table simply by using three layers and a couple of layer masks. Very simple, very fast, uh, and very effective. So some of the main points to remember about layer masks are that any part of the mask that is white will reveal the layer and any part of the mask that is black will hide the layer. And to create a layer mask that is filled with white, just simply click on the layer mask icon. And to create a layer mask that is filled with black, just hold down the Alt or Option key while clicking on the icon. In the next lesson, I'm going to cover some of the more advanced features of layer masking as well as adjustment layers.